G'day folks. Well, I got this old uh, Western Electric motor to play with at the moment. My neighbour gave it to me because he couldn't get this thing off. He wanted me to pull it off. So, I've done that. I was going to do a video on how to actually remove one, but as soon as I started putting a bit of force on this, it just popped free and came off. So, it's really straightforward anyway. Everyone knows how to use a sprocket remover. Um, I just figured I'll fix up this control box or back to the box first. That's busted. Came off an old pump. Slater's Pumps from Footscray. It's a 2760 RPM motor. Two pole motor. It's in good, good condition, just missing one of the feet. I don't know where that is. I think he's still got it next door. Um, I think the curious about it is the way they've done the uh, wiring on it. It looks like it used to be a three phase motor. But I'm guessing it's prob probably wound for single phase voltage and power. The windings might be slightly different, but I guess at home you could try bridging them like this at your own risk. Capacitor is 35 microfarad for this one. Uh, horsepower is it? It's 1.1 kilowatts. So what's that like? 0.75 horsepower or more? I don't know. About 6.2, 6.62 amps. All right, now I've restored uh, a bit of structural integrity to the uh, control box, or terminal box. Uh, just using a bit of liquid snails and some screws, or wash big washes over the screws. Takes up the slack and keeps it there while the liquid nails goes off. It'll never be waterproof again, but it's not going outside. It's going to be used on a drill press, I think. Alright, it's set up for anti-clockwise run, but it can also be run in clockwise rotation. It's got the diagram there for it. Time to put a new power lead on it, that's all. I'll do that first. Alright, time for a quick test run. I've even mounted a suitable pulley to it. I think I'll leave that pulley on it for the moment. Only thing I'll change is the bolt. I think it's a bit too heavy to be running at 2,800 RPM. See how much it vibrates. Yeah, not bad. Still a bit loud. It's just a vibration issue. It'll gradually clear the table. Got a nice sound to it. This one came off a vertical water pump, like a transfer pump. It had a multi-stage impeller stack and a nice big land seal on it, but the land seal failed after the shaft rusted through. So the shaft was just irre irreparable, and the rest of the pump was written off with it, so these good motors keep coming out of the woodwork at the moment. Apparently he's got a good one for me which still works, it doesn't leak. So I'll be picking that one up and resurrecting it when I swap this motor over. I'll take it back to him tomorrow. But no, that sounds good. There's a slight rattling probably from the rear bearing, but that's about it. It's not bad. It's just on its way out. So it's a capacitor run motor. There's no centrifugal switch or anything. No start capacitor. And it seems to run just fine. I'll take the pulley off and try it without that.
there you have it. It's a 2700 RPM single phase motor. Uh, for those who like particulars, it's 240 volts, 50 hertz, Australian voltage. It's not not made for American voltages or anything. Uh, frame, yeah, some long number. 1SC is the first digits. Rating S1, IP55 before the box got smashed. IP is simply the um, protection rating on the insulation and waterproofing. Insulation class F. Weighs 16.5 kilos and run caps 35 microfarad 450 volt. No start cap. There you have it. One good Western electric motor. Thanks for watching.